Hey there friends and enemies, Jopa here again and today I've got another Destiny 2 Titan build for you guys as I've been really enjoying the return to prominence of Stasis with Episode Revenant and I've been having a ton of fun. I have some other builds on the way soon as well, especially incorporating Prismatic, but for today I wanted to really focus on Stasis itself and the return of one of my favorite old exotics that hasn't gotten a lot of love recently and is now very good that is the icefall mantle it has the armor perk glacial guard that now says while you have a stasis super equipped rapid stasis final blows grant frost armor you heal a small amount whenever you grant frost armor replaces your class ability with a burst of stasis energy that freezes nearby combatants slows nearby opponents and grants you increased frost armor Frost armor and freezing are the two main focuses of this build. Now, compared to the prismatic subclass, the reason I went with stasis itself is because of the aspects and wanting to really be a all-out stasis freeze type of build. You have obviously the glacial quake and then shiver strike, but also the glacial grenade, and then the aspects howl of the storm and cryoclasm, whereas with the prismatic subclass you only have diamond lance available now this will mean that you're sliding all over the place you're not going to want to shoot the crystals a lot instead you're going to be sliding into them as often as possible creating more with your grenade and your melee the fragments i'm using are going to be conduction this is so you can gather those whisper uh, stasis shards as much as possible you've got whisper of chains so that way you're going to generate those stasis sh uh, shards quite a bit you've got whisper of refraction to defeat frozen targets gives you class ability energy to have that uh ability to use that class ability as often as possible and then you got whisper of fissures so that way you are going to be absolutely nuking entire areas while you're destroying the uh, stasis crystals and frozen targets i'm also going to use wicked implement yes there is the issue that it does not have anti-barrier with the current artifacts so that some people are frustrated by that but for me that's a small thing and it's so good to hip fire this weapon i think people underrate it and i really really like using this as my primary because i can get a lot of kills generate those stasis kills as often as possible and keep the uptime for my frost armor pretty high then you've got the dead grimari this one is very interesting. I have Discord and Volt Shot. It's the only shotgun that has this combination, and it's actually pretty insane. I didn't get a ton of clips with it, but it is very fun. I just started using it, and I really, really enjoy it overall. Then the Heavy, you can use whatever you want. I went with the Suspectum. This is because it does a lot of damage as a linear fusion, especially if you have teammates with Firing Line and Envious, but you can swap this out for a Grenade Launcher, a Sword, whatever activity you're doing. You can use the heavy weapon that really fits the mold there moving on we got some of the mods for your armor we've got hemi ammo finder and stasis siphon uh special ammo finder as well you can swap those out a little bit we've got impact induction stasis loader fastball stasis resistance or whatever resistance you want concussive dampener and uh reserves for uh, stasis there and then we've got better already and then double stasis weapon surge and then distribution time dilation powerful attraction where we get really interesting is with the artifact perks i do feel like these are going to be more impactful than i think people might realize at first we've got some early ones in the second row with one with frost as well as killing breeze one with frost is really nice because while frost arm is active say the weapons gain increased reload speed and stability so you're essentially getting that bonus with wicked implement all the time you've got wind chill which is in the third column this says rapid states of weapon precision hits crit you uh frost armor so if you don't have some and you have to play at a distance you can generate frost armor and healing very easily then we've got the uh, crystalline converter so gathering stasis shards gain stacks of crystalline converter next power stasis melee creates stasis crystals equal to the number of stacks you have you can see sometimes i'll create a ton of stasis crystals while i'm roaming out and about uh, armor of aramis 
while frost armor is active taking critical damage from combatants causes you to emit a freezing burst this is especially nice if you're using your shotgun you're up close and personal and you may be taking a bunch of damage you will freeze a bunch of enemies and then if you get a couple kills you will get that frost armor back and get some additional healing and then you've got hail the storm shattering a stasis crystal releases slow uh shards of ice that damage and slow so that's very, very nice as well. Then moving on to the final slot, you've got Brain Freeze. So frozen combatants become surrounded by chilling fog, which slows combatants that aren't already, which is absolutely wild. And then finally, the last one is going to be Surf Cold. Picking up a Stasis Shard grants you class ability energy. Again, that might be a little bit overkill, but just having all of those available is very nice for this build. It essentially means you're creating a near infinite number of stasis crystal crystals then you are destroying them to create these stasis shards and just getting your ability energy back you're having frost armor up pretty much all the time the reason i didn't try to extend the duration of my frost armor is you want to be constantly cycling it so if you lose stacks you're going to want to try to gain them back quickly because remember every time you do it's not a heal over time that you get with the frost armor. Instead, it's a small little burst of healing. So you're going to want to constantly be doing that, especially if you're playing a frontline type of aggressive gameplay. So definitely want to be regening that frost armor as often as possible you have a ton of different sources to do so you could lean more into the dead grammar uh if you want to as the shotgun and have that be your primary focus with uh the volt shot a little bit more if you want as well there's some options for that but for me the full focus on the stasis crystals is where i have the most fun and essentially i can just slide around now i tried some other weapons with this as well you could even swap out wicked implement for another can or another stasis primary and maybe use something like winter bite or something of that nature but there's definitely some mixing and matching that you can do depending on preference i know some people do not enjoy using Wicked Implement, so you could always swap that around. Maybe you could use even a Trace Rifle like a Pentance or something like that if you don't want to use it. So anyway, uh, that's the primary build, and you'll see in the gameplay, easily able to clear Wave 50 of the Expert version of the uh, Onslaught activity. And then, yeah, just the amount of survivability you have, the amount of damage you can put out, the stasis super is actually really good probably the best damaging super over time for the titan right now the thunder crash is going to be the best burst damage whereas this one will take a little bit longer but yeah you can do really good damage you can absolutely crowd control as much as you want and you really never have to worry about dying i like that combination and i'm a really big fan of this build i hope you try it out and let me know what you think in the comments down below i have a bunch more different ideas different ways to play builds like this so i, I will have some more stasis builds this season as i mix and match and try to adjust things to again i i'm a type of player who likes to uh change things up i'm a fan of variety so i would rather try this build play with it for a couple weeks and then uh switch it up try different exotics different weapons different play styles and if you're like that is uh like that with me as well then definitely stay tuned for some more builds on their way sooner rather than later anyway let me know what you guys think in the comments down below like the video if you enjoyed it subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of this type of content as well. Have a good one. I'll catch you all later.